In this video, we'll find the real part of the square root of 1 plus 2i. So if we let z equal 1 plus 2i, generally we have that z is a plus bi. Theta will be the inverse tangent of b over a. And r, r squared is, is a squared plus b squared, so r is square root of a squared plus b squared. So in this case, theta is inverse tangent of b over a is just 2 over 1, which is 2. And r is the square root of 1 squared plus 2 squared, but 2 squared is 4. So this will be the square root of 5. So we have that 1 plus 2i will be the square root of 5, e to the i, inverse tangent of 2. Because any complex number can be rewritten as r e to the i theta. And we just found r and theta. So if we have the square root of 1 plus 2i, this will be the square root of the square root of 5 times e to the i inverse tangent of 2, square root of, but that's just to the 1 half power. But 1 half can multiply in, so this will be divide by 2. So i e to the i inverse tangent of 2 over 2. e to the i theta is, si is cosine theta plus i sine theta. This will be square root of the square root of 5. And if we're looking at the real part of e to the i theta, the i just goes away, so it's just cosine theta. So the, so the real part, one we're looking for, is the real part of this, which is just... So the square root of the square root of 5 times cosine of inverse tangent of 2 over 2. And this will make sense in a little bit, why I'm writing square root of square root of 5 instead of fourth root of 5. So we want to find what cosine of x over 2 is. So we know that cosine squared, so cosine of 2x, is cosine squared minus sine squared. And sine squared is 1 minus cosine squared. So negative negative will be plus cosine squared, so it's just 2 cosine squared minus 1, leaving us that cosine squared is 1 half times cosine 1 half times 1 plus cosine 2x. And then we take the positive square root, so cosine x will be square root of 1 plus cosine 2x all over 2. So if we if we set x to x over 2, we get that cosine of, of x over 2 will equal square root of 1 plus cosine x. Right, 2x over 2 goes to x, or just 1, over 2. So cosine of the inverse tangent of 2 over 2 will be the square root of 1 plus cosine of the inverse tangent of 2 all over 2. So now we're going to find out what cosine inverse tangent of 2 is. So we're going to let this equal x. Inverse tangent of 2 is our var another variable, so I'll just call it y in this case. So we know that cosine of y is equal to x, right? So if we solve for tangent on both sides, we get that tangent y is equal to 2. We know that cosine of y is equal to x, so we can figure out what x is from this. So if we draw a right triangle, so tangent y is opposite over adjacent, so 2 over 1. And cosine y is adjacent over hypotenuse, which is x over 1. So instead of y, I'm going to... Instead of fade, I'm going to put y, actually. More accurate. So opposite will be 2, and adjacent will be 1. And so if we complete this, if we do x, x squared plus y squared, or a squared plus b squared, we get 5, square root of 5, in this case. So now we have the hypotenuse side. So now cosine of y, where we have that, x over 1 is adjacent over hypotenuse. So adjacent is 1 over square root of 5 because 
square root of 5 is hypotenuse. So now we have that x, which is cosine of inverse tangent of 2, is 1 over square root of 5. So now cosine of inverse tangent of 2 over 2 is the square root of 1 plus 1 over square root of 5 all over 2. And now we know that the real part of the square root of 1 plus 2i is the square root of square root of 5 times cosine of inverse tangent 2 over 2, which is now square root of 1 plus 1 over square root of 5 over 2. And we can bring this into this because they're both square roots, so this will be square root of square root of 5 plus square root of 5 over square root of 5 is just 1 over 2. And what is this? This is just the golden ratio. So this will be square root of 5, phi. And that is the answer to this question, and that's the end of the video.